let's start by talking about performance uh, over the last year. In 2017, you had a record year. What's been the position this year? It's been extremely strong as well. There was a period of consolidation in terms of the results of a year ago, and the growth has been 54 million. And if you take a two-year view, our growth has been 20%. So it's very pleasing. Which areas have uh, performed particularly strongly in terms of markets and product areas? Uh, what, what's really underpinned that performance? The standouts are our continental offices, our central Eastern Europe offices, and our advanced delivery businesses. And then in terms of products, um, our corporate practice, our capital markets practice, and our tax practices are the standouts. Advanced delivery, you mentioned yeah. as a particular area of strength. Is that making a real contribution across the whole business now? Absolutely. Yeah. Our ASVIA business is quite advanced and mature business, but um, our peer point you know, business is still expanding the pace. Now, 300 sort of heads in terms of consultants available, and that's a growth of 45% on a year basis. And our project management office, again, is expanding as well. So there's plenty more there in terms of growth potential. So you're feeling pretty confident at the end of the year? You never know what the future brings, right? But based on our performance over the last couple of years, yes, um, we have all reasons to be confident. Uh, we've definitely made some right decisions. Uh, the cross-border nature of our work, uh, the new delivery models, the technology uh, areas are all kind of helping us um, grow the business. I mean, obviously, it's a very active M&A market, and that's fueled sort of the finance capital markets practice as well. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of activity in the cross-border space, and that's obviously you know, our sweet spot in many respects. When you came into office two years ago, you set a very clear strategy for the firm. Uh, I just wonder whether you, that, that strategy is holding up well, or do you see any need to alter it and change it? I don't think there's a change in strategy, but obviously the markets evolve, the opportunities come and go. And so you, you kind of have to be flexible in terms of how do you deal with the strategy. Mm -hmm. I would say innovation is clearly you know, you know, picking up a pace, and that's a real opportunity and a challenge for our industry and our business, frankly. Asia is, is a growing opportunity, you know, and we are pretty well placed there. But, and the States, you know, as we've always said, is a big opportunity for us. Diversity was obviously a very, very important part of that strategy, and it's an area which has been it's challenging for the firm. How well are you doing and where are you up to with it? It's a real focus of ours because, you know, fr frankly, it, it, it's a business imperative. I mean, it's very important personally to each of us that you know, our community as a firm is as inclusive as possible and as diverse as possible, because if it's not, then you're not picking up all the price and the best, frankly. It's about increasing awareness, about really in engagement of all our partners and all our staff around the world, um, helping us uh, deliver on it. We've uh, taken a lot of steps in there. The impact will take time. Looking ahead, what do you see as the, two, as the main drivers of the business over the next, say, two, three years? How are you feeling about the future? It's clearly a period of uncertainty. I mean, the first a few months of this year have been extremely good and the pipeline's strong. But if you're, you know, if you're looking out over the next 18 months, it's going to be choppy, I think. Cross-border activity you know, is still going to be there. Um, I think there'll be growth back in terms of litigation, restructuring as the storm clouds sort of appear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to be a market adjustment at some stage. How long that takes, I don't know, but I think in that three-year time frame it's going to have happened. Isn't yeah. it? In terms of growth, I think it starts with the client, and I think you know, a deep understanding of the client businesses and challenges, get access to better talent, increase um, our standing in the U.S. law, market so there's a there's a, you know growth opportunities are obviously going to be in asia so i think really um, invest um, uh, heavily in asia and then obviously stay ahead in terms of innovation technology and advanced delivery so that that would be my five picks if we keep on you know driving those five big um, strategic priorities forward uh, i think we can keep on growing <laughs> I think the firm is in a great place, um, but it's a dynamic opportunity and a dynamic market. Um, there's no you know, shred of complacency on the either of us, frankly. It really is about you know, a culture of challenging ourselves about the way we deliver the services uh, to the clients. And as long as we you know, cherish that and keep that mindset and culture going, I think we're, we're in a very good place.